Welcome to Atma Flow, my dear breeders, dear friends. I like this title, DMT, breeding, pineal gland, third eye, because actually it attracts many people. So many people are open for these topics. But sometimes we expect, or like recently I did a video where I talked about these topics and people complained. How can you say um, pineal gland and third eye and DMT, it's all connected, it's all the same. I would not say it's the same, but the experience is very similar. And DMT, I mean, everyone will tell you something else, can be released only when you die, when you take birth, or when you sleep, when you wake up, or you have to take melatonin or some psychedelics. Some would say no, only when the pineal gland is free, when the kundalini is activated, or do breath work and yoga. And you know what? It is all true. DMT, also known as the spirit molecule, will be released when we have an experience of a higher state. What we experience when we have birth, when we have death, when we take ayahuasca or other substances. But I'm convinced we don't need to take anything, need anything from the material realm to experience a spiritual experience. Of course, you can. But if you want to go deep to the source, experience the consciousness, open up, see the world as it really is, experience the modes of material nature, sattva guna, raja guna, tamaguna, goodness, ignorance and passion, to see the layers of the consciousness, how we covered we are, we use meditation, we use the breath, we use our own self to break through. And DMD is just a side effect of breath work, experiences, psychedelic experience, whatever you call it. It's not the goal to purify the pineal gland, to open the third eye, activate the third eye. It's not the goal. The goal is to experience yourself right now as consciousness, as spiritual being, not the body, not the mind, not the thinking, not the desires, not the emotions, happiness, distress, the dualities. Experience yourself as a whole, deeply within. And this can anyone, everybody experience right now in this moment. So today we're going to do some energizing breath work to really open up the energy channels. The focus in this breath work is the Mula Bandha, the perineum muscle, so we squeeze and release. You can try when you hold back, you have to go to the toilet or you have to fart, sorry to say, but then you squeeze and you hold it back. Yeah, so you activate the perineum because the energy, the prana resides there but it wants to come up. Pranavayu resides in the chest usually. So we ground ourselves, we release this energy. But then we focus on the third eye. The third eye and the root chakra, the Agya chakra, they're both connected. So we release this energy all the way up. So it shouldn't be only the movements, it should be also a meditation. The breath work will take around 20, 25 minutes. And then we try to go deep, try to really feel inside, feel the energy, feel the opening, look within yourself. Just meditation would be fine. You can do the same. But usually we're so covered by stress, anxiety, by electrosmog, our smartphones, our society. So it's difficult to access the state. So the techniques I want to show you today will help you to go there in a very easy way. So find yourself in a comfortable sitting position, keep your spine straight, rest of the body relaxed, place your hands on your knees, you can sit on a chair, you can sit on a cushion, don't lie, don't stand, try to sit and focus on your breath. And take a couple of breaths in through the nose, out through the nose. 
Keep your face muscles relaxed. Relax your forehead, your eyelids, your eyebrows, your cheeks, your jawline, and smile. And smile, use your inner smile when you breathe. Enjoy the practice. Then we start with the spinal breath, Kundalini breathing. As you inhale, you slide your hands towards your waist. Arch your back, chest out, chin slightly up. As you exhale, slide your hands back towards your knees. Round your spine. Exhale, ground yourself. Inhale, open up. Exhale, relax. We inhale in through the nose and out through the nose. Very gentle movements. You can close your eyes. And feel the body, feel the breath, connect the body, connect the mind. And the breath serves as a bridge. This is very good for warm up, but also to bring some movements into the spine. A yogi is only that young as the spine is flexible. So keep your spine flexible and young. It's also all the way along the energy centers, the chakras. So with this movement we can bring balance and harmony into our whole energy system. Make the movement not only in on the outside. Focus on within. As you inhale, the prana flows all the way up to your crown and as you exhale you bring the energy back and crown yourself with the root chakra. Observe the flow of prana within. It's not a work out, it's a work in. Okay, we go a bit faster, inhale through the nose and exhale deeply through the mouth. faster if you can. And relax. Very gently, very slow movements. Find the peace, find the calm within. As you inhale, open your chest, open your arms, your hands, push them back, your elbows back, pinch your shoulder blades, hold for a few seconds. As you exhale, embrace your heart, focus on the heart chakra. Inhale, open up, keep the connection with the heart center. Exhale, letting go, embrace. Inhale one more time, hold the breath for as long as you comfortably can. Whenever you feel the urge to breathe again, exhale and breathe and again hold the breath. Inhale and relax. Find your own breathing rhythm. Feel the opening, the energy, the blood flow. Don't forget to smile. And slow down your breathing.
Okay, we're gonna do three rounds of Tumu breathing to ignite the inner fire. The technique goes as follows. We inhale, we open up chest, we breathe belly chest, out with pursed lips with the mouth. Gonna do 15 breaths, 20 breaths, 30 breaths. After the last inhalation, you inhale. Then you hold the breath. You squeeze the perineum muscle. You place your hands on your knees. Focus on the third eye. Feel the energy burning like a fire. Imagine the fire moves up all the way to your third eye. As you exhale again with pursed lips, you exhale and you ground yourself. After the exhalation, you hold the breath, maybe for about five seconds, not too long. You hold, you connect, you ground yourself, root yourself. Then we do second round and third round. It's a very powerful technique. It will make you very warm and hot. You can really feel the energy within. Okay, inhale, exhale. We always start after the exhalation. And go. Five more. Inhale, hold the breath, squeeze the perineum, place your hands on your knees. Focus on your third eye, hold the breath, connect both points, feel the energy moving up to your higher energy centers. Only hold for as long as you comfortably can. As soon as you feel the urge to breathe again, release the Mula Bandha, the perineum muscle. Exhale, first lips, crown yourself, Hold the breath again for a couple of seconds. And then breathe normally, in and out through the nose. Feel the power within created so much heat at the moment. Try to ground yourself, connect with the earth, with the cooling earth. Okay, round number two. I'm gonna do around 20 breaths and you just follow my rhythm. Inhale, exhale fully, and we start after the exhalation. And go. Last five breaths. Inhale. Hold the breath, squeeze the perineum, focus on your third eye. Feel the energy within rising from the root of your spine all the way up from the root chakra to the sacral, the solar plexus, feel the fire, feel the heat rising to your heart center, your throat, your third eye, all the way up to the crown. You feel the urge to breathe again, you exhale with pursed lips, feel the heat, the energy lowering its power all the way back to your root chakra and then ground yourself 
with the coolness of the earth. Also hold the breath after the exhalation and connect back to the earth. Find your own breathing rhythm, take a few normal breaths and look within yourself, see the shift of energies, the opening, also look within your third eye, it's not just your eyes you can see with, use the Akya Chakra, focus on your forehead, the point between the eyebrows. Just by conscious awareness, we can cleanse and purify, activate this area. And now we're gonna do our last round with 30 breaths. Drink the breath hole, you squeeze the perineum and really focus on your third eye. Feel the opening right now, okay? Inhale, exhale, we start after the exhalation. You follow my speed, my rhythm. Fifty more. Last five, very slow. <sighs> Inhale fully, hold the breath and squeeze the perineum. Focus on your third eye. Whenever you feel the urge to breathe again, exhale with pursed lips, hold the breath and then again find your own breathing rhythm. Relax. Relax the body. Keep the spine straight. And find your inner calm, your inner peace. Now we're gonna practice Kaki Mudra Pranayama. It will be in and exhalation with pursed lips, like you would drink from a straw. This is very calming, 
where we concentrated breathing we do maybe around five breaths on the last exhalation i will guide you you exhale fully come forward drop your head as far as you can exhale fully all the air all the gas out and then we inhale kaki means crow so we inhale like a crow drinks water okay sounds like this and then you apply chalandara bandha place your chin towards your chest shouldn't be too much pressure you hold you squeeze the perineum the mula bandha okay you both both bandhas mula bandha chalandara bandha chin lock and you focus on your third eye then you hold the breath for as long as you can when you feel the urge to breathe again you release both bandhas both energy locks and then again you exhale with pursed lips and continue breathing inhale exhale we're going to do three rounds of this make sure you hold the breath for as long as you can when you feel too much breath pressure then don't apply the chin lock or don't inhale too much okay take it easy for the first round you see how far you can go if it's too much you will adjust no worries there's no harm as long as you do what they say important is fully exhalation and then fully inhalation most importantly to focus on the third eye you can even vision the pineal gland inside feel the energy rising and the opening will happen right now inhale exhale and start breathing with pursed lips One more time inhale then exhale fully Exhale all the air out Inhale fully Apply bandhas hold the breath squeeze the perineum focus on your third eye and you hold for as long as you comfortably can whenever you feel the urge to breathe again release the chin lock release the root lock and breathe again with pursed lips Make controlled breaths, belly, diaphragm, chest. Really feel the breath. How each breath makes you more calm and more peaceful. Connect with the breath. One more inhalation. Then fully exhale, fully inhale, apply the bandhas and focus on your third eye.
and release whenever you feel the urge to breathe again and continue breathing with Kaki Mudra Pranayam. Now make the breath very soft and calm. You shouldn't hear anything. Very calm and soft. Relax the breathing, but still Kaki Mutra continue in this way. One more time, then fully exhale. Whenever you feel the urge to breathe again, exhale through your pursed lips and then keep on breathing normally in through the nose and out through the nose. But very soft and calm breaths. You shouldn't, you shouldn't hear much, you shouldn't feel much. Let the breath happen naturally. Bring the awareness to third eye, the point between the eyebrows and squeeze and release the perineum muscle. Feel the energy pumping up all the way. The energy channels, the chakras are in balance, in harmony. And release the Mula Bandha, no squeezing. And just look within yourself. Relax your forehead, your skull, try to even relax your brain, your thinking. Just be in the moment and observe with your inner eye. Look back instead of outside, look within. Look in the middle of your brain and let the energy flow and open, open up for the experience.
and smile towards your third eye. Just use your inner smile. Now gently tap on the point between your eyebrows. Not hard, very soft and gently. This is a good way to reinforce, to tell the body, the memory of the body, that this is good, that this is needed, that we like the state of being, and allow ourselves to go there from time to time. Inhale deeply in through the nose and out through the mouth. <sighs> Continue tapping. Breathe. One more time. <sighs> Rub your hands together. Make them nice and warm. And place them over your forehead and over your eyelids. One more time, deeply look within yourself. This will help with the body-mind connection. Just center yourself. Then massage your eyelids and your forehead. Make sure to massage each body part. The skull, the temples, the ears, the face muscles, the neck, the shoulders, the upper back, and the lower back, the side of the spine and the ribs, the belly, the chest under the armpits, the upper arms and lower arms, make sure to touch each point. Your hands, especially the fingers and the palms, so much prana emanating from your heart center, will come out of your hands, so release it, it's all fine. Both hands, both arms, Massage your fingers. Massage your waist, your sitting muscles, your buttocks, your legs, especially the thighs, your knees, inside and outside, your calves, your chin. And you end with your feet. Give a very nice massage to the feet. All the stuck energy from the sitting. When I go back to Mother Earth, especially with your thumb, push into your soles and the heels and massage each toe. Wonderful, right? And you tell me, pineal gland, third eye, DMT, people complain about the right name, the right spelling. But the experience itself, for me, is what really matters. If you practice this, maybe not every day, but practice it maybe twice or three times a week, you will see, you will be aligned, your energy centers, your chakras will be in harmony, means you will be in harmony with everyone, with everything around you. The focus is not to open the third eye, to have some visions or higher intuition, but this energy center is so important to connect us with the spiritual realm. 
to have access to a higher understanding of I and mine, of my body, my mind, mine, to experience yourself as the consciousness within. And then you can experience the beauty of life because it doesn't matter anymore, good or bad, happiness, distress, winter or summer. You will be happy within and then you give what you have. You give it and share it with others and they share it with others and will come back to you manifold. Thank you so much for taking time, breathing with me. I have a very nice seven day pranayama course. Please check it out. I think this can really help you. you find it also in the description below. I wish you a wonderful day. Namaste.